coasters at uh, Knobles. So someone recently that I know did an impassioned speech about action cameras and he spoke really well and I was like, oh my God, dude, I would need notes for that. But let's start off with what they have. What are they known for? So now we have, um, here in uh, going to Knobles, you have, there are uh, there's a couple coasters that it is world renowned for. And one of them is, uh, let's start off with its newest one because it's a bobsled coaster. It's not like a bobsled coaster from the 60s, 70s, or 80s. Uh, they, they were coasters back then, at least in the 70s and 80s, maybe even 90s. There's a company called Aerodynamics. Arrow ended up making um, actually the Matterhorn at Disneyland is one of their first projects but they also made bobsled coasters and bobsled coasters kind of went away you know in their 20s and 30s they were existed and they were called flying turns and all this other stuff and then they went away uh, Arrow brought it back in a much larger form they, they're not as compact as uh, the original style and they were taller and it was an interesting idea and it's one of my favorite ones to make on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yes, I still play that game. They have actually updated it and made it better. For free, by the way. Open RTC 2. Check it out. So you have that and I'm really like... So that's its newest one now. It, it's, it has a claim to fame for numerous reasons. One, it's very rare. Two, um, it took forever to build. Not kidding, it took seven years to get made. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. But they ran into issues with the uh, trains of the car. They need to be precise and they weren't. It's a very low capacity, it's not a great, it's not, um, it's not gonna push people through like other roller coasters like your Iron Menaces, your Hydras, your uh, Magnum XL 200s. Those are capacity machines. This is not. This is a rare coaster that you can ride. And it's great for the kids. If you have kids, please, you know, check it out. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, rides just because of how rare it is. I also like bobsled coasters. There was a uh, coaster at Cedar Point called Disaster Transport. And rest in peace, King. That was a cool one. We, we sold that out for a wing coaster. In all honesty, that was a good thing because that, that wing coaster is pretty cool too. And wing coasters are awesome and I recommend uh, trying them. Hopefully Dorney gets, knowing that with how Dorney's working, probably in 15 years we'll get a wing coaster somehow. So you have that one, that's your newest one. Um, then let's talk about uh, wooden coasters. You have Twister, and Twister is by far like the underrated, the underrated uh, coaster at that, at that, Park. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the, the, the overrated one is or the GOAT as some people think it is but I think Twister is such a good coaster and I think they do and the staff does an excellent job of maintaining. The last two years it hasn't been rough. It's been a ton of fun and I absolutely hands down enjoy that ride. Now this is an in-house coaster so there's, just want to give you that. Knobles built it themselves, but they based it off of a coaster called Mr. Twister out at the original Elitch Gardens in Denver, Colorado. Now, Elitch Gardens has actually moved and torn down Mr. Twister. And so the original Mr. Twister gone, they replaced it with the Twister 2. And Twister 2 just doesn't have it. The, I haven't ridden it. I've been to Eli the new Elitch Gardens. I have a very rare coaster credit from them. 
and what a credit is means I wrote it. But I was not able to ride Mr. Twister, the staffing issues, and this was before the pandemic. So, it's just, it, I don't know if it's rougher, I don't know if it's just, if the fun parts stuff got taken out of it, if the banking's not right, I don't know. So, that is out. That's like a no-go uh, out there. But the Knobles version is very well respected, and they actually got a couple of parts from there, and they put it up from the original Mr. Twister, and they put it on the new Twister at Knobles. We could also talk about, actually, the mine ride is just as new as uh, flying turns. One thing that I really like about Knobles is they do preservation. So there are a couple of rides that were not original to Knobles, but they have actually gone to Knobles. They, they, like it is, they are very well taken care of at Knobles. And one of them is um, uh, Black Diamond. Now Black Diamond, I forget what it, Black Diamond was called originally, but I'll pull, I'll put that up in text. But it was originally on Maurice Pier. So Maurice Pier had a, um, it's kind of like a haunted roller coaster, and it was not in good shape. It hadn't run in ten years, and they were going to tear it down. And then Knoebel saw an opportunity and said, "Hey, we will take this off your hands. Uh, I don't know how much money. That's not my business." But, yeah, and they rehabbed. It took about two, three years. It was less than the rehab uh, or getting flying turns ready. They, All right, I'll finally get to it. I, I've, been meet, I've been holding off. It's Phoenix. Phoenix is the greatest. Is Phoenix was the one that proved is a very well-respected roller coaster. And it's respected for different reasons. First, it was the first time a wooden roller coaster was relocated and it is a Philadelphia toboggan company, which that's near Philly. They have not made a roller coaster since the 1970s. They still make trains for roller coasters. But, so anyway, they, um, so Philadelphia toboggan company made it. It was for Joyland in Houston. Uh, it was built in 1948 and it was called the rocket and it was really it was okay like it obviously didn't save that part it was a different era coaster enthusiasts were different back then you didn't have the internet to gather them all up well the Knoebel family bought it and rebuilt it and that was back in 1986 87 it's about the relocation is about as old as i am that not only did they prove that they deserve that i mean they were able to do a great job, and then on top of it, they ended up doing an excellent job of maintaining it. So it is just absolutely wonderful. Very well this year. Last year was a little rough. This year's better. They put a little bit of work the airtime and head choppers are just insane on that. And that's the reason why it's so well liked. And uh, it's such a good coaster. Such a good coaster. And uh, yeah, it's just really happy that Knobles has it. Now